Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn a picture like this one into this. So today we're going to start in Photoshop. We're going to open the picture that we're going to use. And right now we need to separate the background, the middle ground and the foreground. So we're going to start by using the quick selection tool and we're gonna select this part of the picture right here and we're going to press ctrl C to copy it and then press ctrl V to paste it and we're going to rename it to middle ground so that we can stay organized um, then we're going to select this and this is gonna be our foreground so we're gonna do the same thing press ctrl C and then ctrl V and let's rename this to foreground okay and as you can see now we have these three layers but we need to fix the middle ground and the background so let's turn off the visibility for these two and let's select the background now use the quick selection tool to select all of this again and then go to select modify and expand and we're going to expand this selection by 15 pixels so just click OK and then let's click on edit fill and we're going to use the content aware fill to get rid of all of this so just click OK and wait for it to finish Okay, so now we've taken care of that we can move on to the middle ground and we need to get rid of this and then all of this so let's do the same thing we need to expand this edge but now let's expand it by 10 and let's click on edit fill content aware okay and wait for this to finish and now this looks pretty good but one thing that is pretty obvious if I move the foreground you can see this part right here and it really is sticking out so we need to fix that too so we're going to select the middle ground layer and we're going to use the rectangular selection tool so just select all of this and press ctrl X to cut it and then let's use this part right here press ctrl C to copy it and then ctrl V to paste it and let's move it right here okay that looks fine and let's select these two and merge them so we need to rename it again to middle ground okay and we're pretty much done except for this edge right here which is really visible so we're just going to use the spot healing tool and just draw on this edge and it is gonna be fixed so let's adjust it a little bit and I guess that's it we're now good to go so we need to click on file and then save this as a Photoshop document so now we're going to switch over to After Effects and we are going to import this Photoshop document that we just saved and we need to import it as a composition so let's click on import and we need editable layer styles so if I open the composition all of our layers are right here so let's turn on the 3D switch and let's add a new camera. And now if I switch to four views, you can see that our scene is flat. So we need to separate the background and the foreground. So let's select it and let's move it all the way to the back. And then let's select the foreground and let's move it to the front. Now if I switch back to one view, 
we have this problem with black areas so since this is a high res picture I can just click shift to rescale the background until it fits again and I'm going to do the same thing um, with the foreground so let's just zoom out and let's rescale it like this and if I take the camera tool you can see that now we have the background, the middle ground and the foreground separated so let's press Control Z to undo that and let's edit the camera so if I go to transform and select the position you can see that there's three dimensions that we can move it in so we're going to adjust this um, let's set a keyframe at the beginning and um, let's set a keyframe at maybe two seconds so at the second keyframe we want the camera to be normal and at the first keyframe we're going to move it all the way out here so that it kind of moves back and shows the entire picture but this movement that we have is pretty flat and boring so we need to adjust these keyframes just select them press F9 to ease ease them and then open the graph editor so we need to edit the speed graph and we're gonna adjust this ramp so let's move this handle back like that and let's move this one like this so what we have is the camera movement is pretty fast at this point and then it gradually slows down so let's play this to see how it looks so you can see that our final result looks pretty cool that's it for this tutorial for more please check out my channel thank you for watching and see you next time